morning. Welcome to today's video. It's, uh, it's half seven, just before half seven in the morning. So I started a little bit early. Just doing 15 miles today. I started my new job on Monday, working from home. But the good thing, I can get out on my bike first thing and do 15, 25 miles. Then uh, be at my desk ready for nine o'clock. So, it does still aligning. We're a week into lockdown, the second lockdown two, 2.0. Don't feel like a lockdown, does it? I don't think there's any, there's virtually no difference in town, I don't think. A few people have said to me, where they, when they've gone shopping, you know, it was just like, there's no real difference. Okay, you know, a few shops are short, but going into town, etc. There's, there's no real difference. Yesterday was the, the highest figure for coronavirus infections. So it doesn't really bode well for coming out of a lockdown on December the 2nd, does it? Ironic that we're like, what are we, seven months on and uh, eight months on, sorry. And when I started doing these vlogs, it was like five days into the first lockdown. <laughs> so. We've kind of trodden water in some ways. But anyway, let's not get fed up with that. So I'm out just doing a 15 mile loop just outside of town. It's just spitting with rain, so I'm hoping I can get back without getting actually wet. The roads are dry. It's just a bit of rain in the air. So I just wanted to do a quick video today to tell you about a little uh, little giveaway I want to do. So I'd intended to do it last weekend actually, but events overtook me. Um, one thing and another, we just ran out of time. So I tripped over 300 subscribers, as some of you will know, which is fab, really pleased with that. So I thought I'd do a little giveaway to market. So I've got um, three, as some of you will know, I love my coffee. So it seemed logical I should give away some coffee. So I've gone a bit and a uh, bit splashed out and I've got my own brand coffee. How about that? I'll drop in, a, drop in a picture. What I'd like to do is drop a comment on this video. You need to answer a question. So I'm going to give away three bags of the coffee. If you're into coffee, I'm sure you're going to appreciate it. It's very nice. It's Brazilian roast, and I've got some which is ground ready for filter, or I've got some whole beans. So if you've got a grinder and you're one of the winners, you can request the whole beans, but otherwise I shall send you some of the ground coffee. So you can use it in a filter or in a cafetiere. I'll drop a question at the end of this video for you. And if you can answer that question correctly on the comments, I should use the trusty old random comment generator, picker even, to pick a winner. We pick three winners. Not just one, not two, but three. I'm not sure Mark Foss will need to bother because he's too much of a tea drinker. But you never know, he does like the occasional espresso to wake himself up so it's been it's been roasted for me special roast my own perfecting standards of course but it's been done by coffee central in nottingham fantastic roasters i'm gonna drop a link 
to their website below in the comments. It really helped me when I opened my coffee shop and couldn't recommend them highly enough to be honest. Always there, always good quality, always ready to help and support. So Coffee Central um, sales director is Adam, managing director is Gav. Thanks guys. If you, uh, if you own a coffee shop or know of a coffee shop, have a word with them. Who are they using for the coffee roasting? Because I can definitely recommend Coffee Central. Tell your friends. But no, seriously, they've always really supported really well. And uh, just a word about coffee shops and coffee roasters. I'll make a bit of a plea for you, really, with you. Just support your independence as much as you can in these times. A lot of coffee shops, if they can't do takeaway, they've been forced to close again. And there's a lot of small independents, cafes and coffee shops, they're gonna really, really struggle. You know, the winter is a harder time often for a lot of coffee shops. So if you are out somewhere, go and get a takeaway, help them out with people that are open. Don't go to Costa though, go to an independent coffee shop. Costa are big enough to weather the storm and Starbucks and Cafe Nero. Try and search out a little local independent coffee shop you're gonna get a far better cup of coffee just go and support them it's really hard for them at the moment and know they'll appreciate it I think the same applies to any small independent shop. The rules this time, they are causing a bit of confusion, you know, what's essential, what's not. But if you've got any independent shop near your hardware shop or food shop, whatever, give them a go. If you've got a local farm shop, go get some gear from them. You're probably going to get some better food. You probably get a better level of service. Who knows? I probably might even deliver. You never know. But yeah, support the independents. We really need it right now. Anyway, that's enough of that. Back to the ride. Well, I think the weather's coming in. Not sure I'm going to get back without getting wet. So before I do, I'm going to ask you a question. So I made a video a while back. You might need to scroll back, and we were finding out. Went behind the scenes to find who was the fastest vintage coffee van in the Vale of Beaver. The winner was Cafe Alais. Vintage van, vintage Citroen, Henri. The runner-up was a Renault. So what I want to know is the name on the side of the Renault. So if you drop the answer to that in the message below, you'll need to scroll back to find it if you don't know it. And you'll be in the running for some free, unique coffee. So what is the name on the side of the van that was the runner-up to be the fastest vintage coffee van in the Vale of Beaver? Yep, I'm just starting to get wet now. So before I do, I'm gonna say goodbye. See you in a few days time. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Good luck in the competition. See you in a few days time. Bye.
Yeah, getting wet. 